I'm joined by new Gosport manager, Lee Molyneux. Lee, your first venture into management, uh, are you excited? Yeah, excited, very excited. And, you know, why would you not be excited to take over a club that, uh, that's got ambition, that's got drive? Um, and I think attracting the right players to this football club will be huge for the club and huge for the community. Um, and if we, can, if we can achieve half of our ambition, then we'll be there or thereabouts this year. And uh, what was the, the main things that brought you in, in into the club? It was just a right fit for you? Yeah, if you asked me uh, a year ago about management, I would have said no. Um, I've had experiences with managers, good ones, bad ones. Um, and I've always, I've always had a, a keen eye on management, but um, taking on that, that physically to say I am a manager, taking on that responsibility is a, is a big step. Um, this is a club that's close to my heart. Uh, a club I played for, a club that I've only experienced good times at, a club that a lot of my friends have played for, friends through playing. Um, and like I said in my previous interview, too, too many stars aligned for me not to, not to take this role. It's a new challenge, it's a big challenge, but it's a new challenge and one I'm gonna, one I'm gonna relish. So. And you've brought in a, a great backroom staff as well, just touch on that a bit. Yeah, and to your previous point, no, I wouldn't have done it unless I don't have their backroom staff. If I didn't have Kev Braybrook, uh, two times UA for a licensed coach. If I didn't have Ben Neller, previous manager, done wonders at Hamble, really good guy, do anything for me, I can trust both of those explicitly. They attract players. In fact, Kev's attracting as many players as I am. People want to sign to be able to be coached by, by Kev. Um, he's a very, very sought after coach and I'm, I'm privileged that he's, he's chosen to work with me. Um, for me, background staff's huge. Uh, set in the right environment, set in the right tone, set in the right vision. Uh, we all have to be on the same page for, for, uh, for achieving success. And you touched on players there, obviously it's early days. Just give us an idea of the calibre of players. I can't tell you the players I've signed in. Uh, the calibre of players are workhorses, you can imagine, if you, if you know or, or have seen me as a player. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I like players to express themselves on the pitch, I'll give them free reign. Uh, I want players to enjoy their football, that's my number one for me. Enjoy your football, and the only way you enjoy your football is you work hard. Um, and you work hard, enjoy your football, you will get success. And it's obviously been a hard time for the fans over the last few years with Gosport going down the leagues. What is your message to them? Um, stick with the club, stick with our vision and what we want to do. Um, don't be swayed with what has happened because I see that the last year or so it hasn't happened or two years or so it hasn't really happened and hasn't, hasn't, um, hasn't become what it should become given the backing of the chairman and all the backroom staff. I think they're superb. Um, I think they had a mountain to climb. I feel that we're, uh, we're now on a level playing field that we can, we can really push on. Uh, what they've done now to get us to what I call ground zero um, to now kick on is a huge, a huge feat and, and there has been some some negative times last season they just avoided relegation um, but the club are in a position now to kick on and I have the privilege and it is a privilege to uh, to help them kick on. How has your relationship been with the chairman at, 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 in the early days? Unbelievable what a guy you, you've only got to look at what he did at Portsmouth saviour of Portsmouth and I'm damn sure he's gonna be the saviour of Gospel Borough um, great guy to work with honest doesn't have to cross the street when he sees anyone. He is straight up and down, good guy, yeah. So you seriously think with the group of people you've got, you've really got something good here going? Yeah, I really do. Yeah, I mean, my team who I, beat in, uh, who I brought in from physio, kit man, um, coach, assistant, you guys, media team. <laughs> yeah, maybe not you guys, <laughs> but... Um, I, I think that clubs are successful because of people. I really do. I really do. And I think the players should emulate what the staff do. You become your environment. We'll create an environment. The players will become that. And um, if we're all the same, then I'm damn sure we'll kick on. And finally, what's it been like the first few days of uh, as being a manager? <laughs> yeah, I've, got, I've charged my phone more times than I can imagine. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, my phone's not stopped. But in a positive way. If I'm doing something, this is a huge challenge, but if I'm doing something, I'm doing it properly. Um, and I'm, I'm leaving, yeah, I'm leaving nothing to fate. Yeah, I'm quite a meticulous person anyway, um, and I'll make sure things will, things will happen. Thank you, Lee, and good luck for the future. Thank you.